Hi, this is Mike Roscoe, SBR Sport. I want to do a shoe review on the Brooks Ghost 9. This is the men's shoe. This is a US 10 and a half or UK 9.5 and, and that weighs in the 335 grams. Uh, I've got the women's shoe over here. This is a US 8.5 or UK 6.5 and, and that weighs in at 267 grams. I bought my first pair of Brooks about 30 years ago from Johnny Halberstadt. He had a shop here in Johannesburg and absolutely fell in love with the brand way back then. And the shoes have got since then just better and better. The shoe was voted, just trying to get that into the, into the screen there, as the runner's editor's choice uh, shoe. And um, one just can't say enough about how good the shoe actually is. So let's go through a couple of, of, of uh, highlights with the shoe. Number one, uh, Brooks have come along and they have widened the toe box. So what they've really gone and done is just put a little bit more space for the forefoot, something that I'm a big fan of. Your toes and the forefoot area need space within the shoe. Second thing that is, is vital for your understanding of the shoe is that Brooks always come out with really, really good arch support this is a picture somewhere in the shoe but more importantly this is where your foot lands this is the medial or the inside part and this section um, really supports the navicular bone and ultimately supports the foot arch really really well that's going to be an important consideration to make uh, if you're buying shoes especially if you are prone to injuries like plantar fasciitis or if you have shin splints. What I find is the moment you support the foot arch a bit better, support the navicular bone and the structures that come around that into the actual calf, the more you protect the calf area and the more you protect a person from shin splints. This is not, by the way, your cure for shin splints. It's a little bit more complex than that, but certainly the shoe is going to go a long way in helping you with an injury like that. Another big highlight with the shoe, let's go the woman's shoe there is that what they've gone and done is Brooks have tapered this section over here. What that means is that as you go through your run phase and you hit the toe off, the shoe almost falls away. What that does is it allows you to move into the next phase of your run a little bit more naturally. What it does is it allows you to just get into that slight forward lean, almost fall into the next section of your run Everything that we do and everything that we understand about gait analysis right now is that you want to have a run with a slight, slight forward tilt and the shoe is actually going to help you with that. So as far as gait modification is concerned or just allowing a more natural gait to take place, this is definitely a shoe to look at. It's got a mesh upper. The mesh upper is nice and cool. It moisture wicks really, really well um, as well. What Brooks did a number of years ago is they had a shoe out called the Glycerine, which is still out by the way, but the Glycerine a number of years ago was a slightly more stable shoe. Brooks then redesigned the Glycerine and in my mind they moved it into a slightly freer shoe and what happened is they took the Ghost and they positioned the Ghost as a shoe that I would describe as a neutral stability shoe. So this in no ways would be described as an anti-pronation shoe. However, for people with a little bit of pronation that don't need to get into the anti-pronation shoes, this is not a bad bet. What's the best way to buy a shoe? Well, the best way we know is that you give us a call here. Uh, we make an appointment. I've got the treadmill just behind where the, where the camera is. Pop you onto the treadmill. We'll film you while you run and analyze how the shoe acts with you. That's the best way. We also take a little bit of a, a history as to injuries or what, what your goals are and try and give you a little bit of advice like that. You always want to try and match the shoe uh, with the runner. The shoe in short is light, it's fast, I think you'll enjoy it. By the way, all of our contact details are below your screen, Facebook, Twitter and the blog. I hope that was helpful. See you next time.